Okay, welcome back. In this short episode, we're going to put together a watering system for our garden made out of mostly stuff that we found around our house. All right, guys. This is going to be my wa my garden watering system uh, temporarily or permanent temporary. Who knows? At some point, we'll pipe water over. But for now, this is the way it's going. Got this barrel. Used to have juice in it. Got it for, for like 10 bucks. Uh, I've had these clamps. Came with my generator. I don't use them. Use it for that. So I decided to sacrifice that. This is like an RV pump. The same kind that you'd find in an RV. Builds up pressure, shuts off. Boom, good to go. So essentially I'm just gonna do this so that when we come in with water, I can pop over here, fill it up, and then go fill up our other system. <laughs> that way we're not bucketing water over to the garden. It's just gonna make life a lot easier. So show you the end product after I'm done and kind of walk you through it. All right, pretty much done here. So what we did was we, I, we, connected these up so that you can clamp to a battery, runs the pump, pumps the water out, drill the hole there, stuff the piece of hose in there, lays down on the bottom, goes out to the garden. Just a quick half hour project there, but we got something done. I will fill it up a little bit later connect the hose and we'll let it rip so in typical fashion got everything together and my battery down here it is dead so what we've done we've brought brought old blue over or sky as sawyer calls it and we're just going to use the car battery with it running so it does not kill our battery so we've got pump like i said before and a hose that i cut off because the tank chewed it up but it was chewed up past the point that I needed for this purpose. Running down into the water, we got it filled up, nice fresh water that we got at the, the fairgrounds. Got another hose running through the middle of the garden and we are ready to do this. Last year I did all my, we grew this garden last year and I did all my watering with five gallon buckets and we did pretty good. This year we haven't watered as much as we did last year just because things have been crazy. There's been less of us here um, and we've learned what things grow without water. So that's really cool. But we have some things that would do a lot better if we started giving them some water. So Steven hooked up this water for us and we're going to get started. All right, hopefully we'll start seeing some more, some more fruits and vegetables grow a little bit bigger. All right, so that's just a real simple idea. We had the stuff sitting around the barrel. We got for like 10 bucks uh, at the co-op. Uh, the pump I had, because I was using it for something else, uh, I can use it again when we update our actual watering system and get a well. Uh, so I can reuse that for something else. Uh, the cables that I connected to it, spliced in, I had laying around, they were for something else, that something else is broken. So I repurposed it. And the hose that we have going into the tank is a hose that the tank chewed up, but it had just enough uh, non-chewed up parts on it that I could get it connected into there. And that's our intake. <clears throat> and the only thing we just went and bought is the spray nozzle because tank also chewed up the spray nozzle. Uh, he's just over a year now. And as a puppy, he loved chewing on things. And especially when it was costing us money. So. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Hope you got a, an idea of types of things we do, types of things that you can do uh, with very little.